Able to Serve works with adults with disabilities. When you reach the age of 22 in North Carolina, then you are put out to fend for yourself. There is some compensatory ed, there are some other programs that are offered, but there's no program that's as holistic as we are, understanding that the person, the personhood of someone, I need to learn life skills, I need to begin to develop my own friendships. Um, as young adults and adults, we need to have some of our, our peers, we need to be serving and, and have friendships with our peers. Um, it's a, it's a, there's a lot of government money, there's a lot of emphasis put on growing people out of school in order to become independent. The problem is that when they get out of school, there's nothing to go to. So they're faced with either the support that they have at home or the support that they have at church, which is not an ongoing Monday through Friday type thing. So here, um, they have a, a potential of continuing to grow. You do not graduate out of our program, you just continue to learn. Um, what we're excited about is that that keeps us in a, um, a mode where we have to have an excellent program because if you're going to stay with us, we have to continue to evolve the program for you. And we have to understand where you are and where you're going and to take into account what you want to learn and where you want to be and who you want to become uh, as part of our program. I'm not sure if you could find a typical day at Able to Serve. Um, some mornings our folks are coming in just long enough to, to get settled, um, have devotions, and then they're going to uh, recreation type. Uh, activity. Some of our activities on a typical day have been planned out by our staff and it goes along with what they're learning or an emphasis that we have and then there are times where our participants have stepped up and said this is something that I really would like to go to or really like to see and then the class comes together and votes on, talks about it and then they go to. So each day we have devotions which is a very important thing. Each day involves something on the computer so it may be that they're working on individualized lessons or sometimes they're working on a group project that they're going to have to do together. And there are other times that we're in the church fellowship hall and we're preparing a meal. Um, one class is preparing a meal that everybody else is going to get to eat from. So a usual day is activities are off campus or in the mornings and then afternoons are back on campus. Um, I think that Able to Serve is, is gaining such momentum in the community that um, it's wonderful. We have our vans. You can't miss us when we're out in the community, but more and more people are hearing about Able to Serve. We have wonderful volunteers that spread the news. We have churches now that know about us and that are um, becoming more and more involved with us. It's just been amazing to watch people who were not social butterflies become social butterflies, to enjoy the interaction of, of good friends and other folks in their class. I get to see little parts of that, little ways that we're inching towards those, those goals and little successes that we make on a day-to-day -day basis that they um, are so excited about. The ways I've seen the participants grow uh, in the community has been tremendous. And one thing is I've seen a lot of them learn to very much love um, doing volunteer work. Able to Serve is about loving people, loving parents, loving sons, loving daughters, and preparing ourselves to be entrusted with their son or daughter. Um, it's about loving people enough to see past what we would see in front of us, a disability or um, maybe a behavior that's a little bit difficult to deal with. It's about loving them so much that you love them through um, that time. Uh, able to serve is about recognizing that God is the creator, that God created us to serve him. He created us with abilities and we're uniquely and wonderfully made. And so we celebrate that every day. We celebrate that with a hug in the morning which says that you are, are accepted and that you are loved when you come in. It's when you accomplish something and it's the screams of joy and raising our hands in excitement. It's the times where we're not having the best of days and it says, I love you enough to sit beside you through this day. Um, it's based on the principles that God loves all of his people. He didn't make any mistakes. And it's our duty to love them just as he loved us um, in the disabilities that we have. By serving others, we show that God has created us with abilities. And by serving others, it says that we love them just like God loves us.